Yo, it's been 20 years since Hybrid Theory dropped? Bro, I'm old. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of this little family, clicking the subscribe button bottom right-hand corner. Now, first things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil, but also, first things first, rest in peace, Chester Bennington. Rock and music in general lost one of the greatest vocalists that, that music has ever seen. The man was battling demons for so long and a lot of us didn't really ever, I mean, we knew about it, especially later on, but when you go back and listen to the lyrics off of Hybrid Theory and Meteora, you're like, damn, like he's been, he was trying to tell us the whole time. So like Royce the Five Nine says, who says RIP Chester Bennington in the song, Strong Friend, check up on your strong friends because they're the ones that are going through your battles with you, but also going through theirs on their own, which are behind the scenes, which most people don't even know are going on. If you're having mental issues or if you're having issues with suicide or any kind of those thoughts about it, definitely reach out. I'll leave a sui the Suicide United States one, at least Suicide Hotline uh, in the bottom, in the description below. But today, Today we're here reacting to the newest unreleased song all the way back from when Linkin Park had just been putting out Hybrid Theory. I don't know if this is a cut that didn't make the album or this was a cut before the album was being produced. I don't really know the backstory behind it, but yo, going back 20 years and listening to Linkin Park Hybrid Theory Linkin Park, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a trip. But that's it. There's really not too much to say. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links are down in the description below. And we got She Couldn't official audio from Hybrid theory of Linkin Park, basically. Let's get it. Oh. <laughs> yes, yo, Mr. Han getting like a feature just screams, just get not not a feature, but I guess getting like a standout part in the in the track just screams Hybrid Theory and Meteora. He had those two tracks that were both fire on each album. But yo, hearing him scratch automatically takes me back 20 years, apparently. So I didn't even realize it's been that long. sounds like it sounds like 20 year old Linkin Park it sounds like the seeds of what would eventually become their sound like you can hear obviously DJ Han with the scratch at the beginning and he plays an essential part in their original sound Chester with like the really softer vocals on this track right here and you can like hear it in Chester's voice it's not that he's not it's not that he's not confident in his voice it's just like he hasn't he doesn't know the ability that he has so early on and then that's that's kind of like where hybrid theory was a breakout because of because of Mike's Mike's voice and like his vocal tonality when he's rapping because he's not he's not a singer obviously i mean he sings but not, obviously not the not at the level that chester does but his vo his vocals they were so unique for a rapper back then it's just dope to hear a song that's like so old and you can clearly hear the fundamentals of what would become hybrid theory that's that's fucking tight says you know she couldn't stay here with you you know she had to go even though she couldn't stay here with you you know you're not alone fucking cat but those lyrics right there remind me of Slip by Fort Minor, which was which was obviously my Shinoda. When during the bridge, he says all of this to explain to you why I had to separate myself away from yesterday's life. Please remember, this isn't how I hoped it would be, but I had to protect you from me. That's why I slipped out the back before you knew I was there. And I know you felt unprepared, but it's the same sentiment right here. Like, you know, she had to go. And even though she had to leave you, you know, you're not alone. And this video was five minutes and five seconds. That's extremely long for a Linkin Park song. Most Linkin Park songs are like two and a half to like three and a half. At the very longest, three and a half. It's a long ass song for hy especially Hybrid Theory. No matter what you think you did wrong. What was 
dope about Hybrid Theory and Meteor Linkin Park and like both Mike and Chester, whenever they were on a song together, which was most songs, it's like one didn't outshine the other. It's like the entire album, they would either have Mike as the centerpiece, like it was a rap, it was a rap track with like rock elements and with Chester on the chorus, or it was the opposite. It was Chester on the verses and then Mike on the chorus, like right here. And I finally remember, like while I was playing it right now, I finally remembered what song I'm been I've been thinking of that it sounds like. It sounds like my December. That's the song that I'm hearing most similar to this right here. It's like very soft. It's very melancholy. It's very airy. It's, it's dope. Both tracks are dope. His voice, bro. Scrap everything that I said earlier in the first verse when I said that he didn't know what he had just yet. He didn't know the potential as a singer that he had. This clearly shows that he knew the potential. The second verse, when he like starts in the same way that he started and then gradually built it up into like his powerful, into the powerful tone that he has. Yo. R.I.P. Chester, bro. I'm getting sad just listening to this. It's one of those, it's one of those celebrity passings that would like that like hit me extremely hard when I heard it for the first time. Cause these dudes were like, they, they were essential to my adolescence. They were essential piece to me finding out who I was as a young adult. It's bringing all these different like emotions, nostalgia, sadness, you know, it's crazy. I don't know if y'all can hear it if y'all are listening to this with headphones on but it but the mixing and the mastering of the song is obviously very rough because this is a hidden track is a hidden cut it's one that didn't make the album so it's not like they refined it 100 percent perfectly you can hear and i don't know if this is on purpose but chester before mike started it sounds like he's a, not dead center in your ears it sounds like he's a little off to the right and then there's obviously other sound happening over here but yo i like seeing rough uncut unfinished tracks it's not unfinished i guess you would say it's just it's not mixed and mastered to make the album i would Say. And because of that, it gives it like this raw emotional feel. This looks like the initial rough sketch of uh, of breaking the habit. I have a video for that. I might link it at the very end. But yo, these dudes at this level, like when you're at this level of creativity, you're normally artistic in, in different mediums. It's dope. That little switch up. That was clean right there, that little switch up. And this is why the song is hella long. It sounds like a combination of a Linkin Park song and then one of those songs like at the very end of Hybrid Theory and Meteora where, where DJ Han got to shine. But they put it on the actual song, which is why the song is five minutes and hella long for, like I said, for a Linkin Park track. What are the name of those songs? Now it's gonna piss me off because I'm just saying those songs. I wanna actually know. Okay, at least on Hybrid Theory, it's Cure for the Itch, which is the album that we're talking about. I like to introduce Mr. Hong, battle, 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 battle. This is like their end. This, this is how you know, like they were extremely experimental in their music and it was destined for their music to change from the way that Meteor and Hybrid Theory sounded. Like they were in a lose-lose position after putting out those two giant ass albums. Like they wanted creative change within their sound where they, they wanted to evolve as artists, but like their fan base and people and their critics they weren't ready for them to evolve as artists. They wanted to stick to that same sound that they, Meteor is literally just like Hybrid Theory Part 2. That's really what Meteor is. And if they would have done that for a third album, they would have got criti 
criticism for changing their sound the way that they did, or if they would have done it again, they would have got criticism for staying the same. So they were in a lose lose position. So it's just like if we're gonna get criticized either way, let's at least be let's at least be honest with ourselves and and change in the way that we want to change, you know. And then that's when Minutes to Midnight came out, and it had that different, had a more electronic type of feel, had a heart. It wasn't so it wasn't so new metal. It was more electronic, more traditional rock. I like Minutes to Midnight. I like most of their projects actually. It's dope to hear a band evolve and like you evolve with them. But all that to say that I can hear the electronic undertones of what would eventually be Mike Shinoda's like heavier hand in production because he has a lot of keyboard play. There's a lot of instruments within the music that weren't in the original two albums. Sound like most deaf. Mike Shinoda's voice is crazy, dog, on the vocals for for rock or for this. Just his vocal tone, like I said earlier, it's just it's so unique, especially during this time, like during the 99, 2000, like rap scene. Hella, hell no, Mike would have never even touched or even came like anywhere near respected in that scene. But here he comes like breaking on to the music in the music industry with Linkin Park. And his voice is just so different from what you would normally expect. And his bars are there. Like, it's not like he's just like some half-assed rapper. Like the bars are there. It's just from a different type of voice. No matter what you think you did wrong. Yeah, yo, so super nostalgic, super like melancholy, you know, super bittersweet for having new, a new track, but then always that reminder that Chester's no longer with us is always bittersweet for me. But at the same time, like the only criticism I would have of this track is that it's too long. And I don't know if I think that it's too long because like the song lyrics actually end almost like halfway through the song. But yeah, I think the song as it sits in its original in its original form right here, I can definitely see why it was left off Hybrid Theory because Hybrid Theory had a completely different tone. It had a completely different feel, the vibe. It was much more aggressive than this right here, even the slow songs. And this right here is way too long for a Hybrid Theory cut. But yo, that brings us to the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you see, please Please consider liking the video leaving a comment down below helps the algorithm if you like what you see enough please consider subscribing because these longer form videos and you know thought analytical process is how we do these videos around here so if that's your shit if you like it hit subscribe follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below hit up the discord also down in the description below and that's all that we got for you today ladies and gentlemen i appreciate your time and like i always say go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video Peace. Riding with a handful of buckets of red of what I said still stuck in my head but misled doing the things I do will make it never want to come back but an all front attack so you can never run from that being trapped in this for you is something that I never wanted to do but through it all you got to see that where I want to be is over the pen again letting it out of me in the center of a day in the dream seeing all my thoughts getting lost in between realizing one's not the way that it seems and the killing of a killer with a head full of screams I want to be in another place where no one can say that I live for them that's the original verse before the song was titled Place From My Head.